Hi, I'm Laura Morris, and this is my video series, What the Feng Shui, where you ask the feng shui question and I get you the answer. Every episode, we take a specific feng shui or related question and I invite an expert guest to discuss it with me. This episode, the question is, what is dowsing? And my expert guest is Brid Bridget Soraka, who is a, well, awesome feng shui practitioner, but also an intuitive um, practitioner, and she specializes in dowsing and energetic clearings, which is why I thought she would be great. She has this real gift for seeing beyond just the strict rules of how we practice these things and really tapping into your own intuition. So, and I know it's something that I use and she uses as well is this practice of dowsing. She also has this new series about feng shui and divorce. So welcome Bridget. And could you tell us a little bit more before we go into the question, tell us just a little bit more about the video series you're doing. Oh, Laura, thank you so much for inviting me on this journey with you. I am profoundly moved and so thank you and thank I'm you for being here thank you thank you um feng shui divorce you know it's interesting because i just got some flack from a girlfriend about this series that i'm doing because i recently just got married after being with <laughs> my, my um love for the last 17 years and now we've made it um official but feng shui divorce is not something that most people divorce and feng shui is not something that's usually talked about the emotional components and why we get caught in the fight for things that no longer serve us right we'd rather fight for our piece of the pie rather mm. than just take the money and run. So it gets down to those fundamental principles, watching our language, and then really taking into account um, how to set that next stage to support you as you move through a divorce. And really understanding it's all about frequency and you're no longer in alignment with that partner right. anymore. Yeah, no, you know, you're, you're right. Like, honestly, when you think, when you say feng shui for divorce, people are like, well, why would you want to like, make divorce with feng shui but i you what you're saying is because sometimes the universe gives you things that you don't really even ask for and sometimes yeah. if you're not in alignment with the universe the uh, the reality of divorce will just hold you back and i think it's really brilliant i think these are things that sometimes many feng shui practitioners uh, don't like to get into but really at the end of the day this is something that people honestly need so thank you that's yeah. great and i've yeah. been there right so yeah I'm there? Yeah, a lot of people have, unfortunately, yeah. but it's that's great. So yeah. um, now our question today, what is dowsing? I thought of you because I know you use it in your practice a lot. I use it in my practice as well, um, but you are, I feel, an expert in it. So there you are. You're, <laughs> so I thought, who better to ask? Um, you know, basically when I ask the question, you know, to you in your own words, what is dowsing for you? So dowsing to me is divining. So for me, it's about tuning in and getting clear messages from source. So I always do a personal clearing before I go into any dowsing session or before I go into any consultation, actually. Because for me, dowsing is about, first of all, being really clear and balance so that the messages that I'm getting and the response that my tool is getting is clear and, and not disrupted by my personality or the energies around me. I personally use my dowsing rod. Okay. Um, dowsing is something that I was actually brought up around. Um, my mom used to use like a needle and a, and a thread and ask specific questions when we were kids. I will douse before any space clearing. I won't do a space clearing without dousing. For me, it's about really dealing with those earth vibrations and those invisible energetics that are disrupting our energetic fields, first and foremost, before trying to do a space clearing. I think a lot of times what happens is those non-beneficial energies that we're trying to clear after there's been trauma in a space or a renovation or if there's a, a guest in the house, it's often caught in those frequencies such as geopathic stress, Hartman and Curry lines and non-beneficial vortexes and portals. So if you can deal with that stuff first through dowsing, right. then the clearing is much more effective. Let's put this in perspective. You're pretty sure. advanced. You're yeah. uh, very intuitive. You've been doing this for a very long time. Yeah. So for someone that is just starting out or fascinated by the art of dowsing, I am one of those people, and I practice it on, I use the two rods for very specific, like water sources, or as you said, you know, geopathic stress. 
And then I use, you know, other tools when I'm going to ask yes, no questions before I go see a consult, just to kind of, again, as you said, make sure that it sort of sets the tone so I can kind of weed out things. Yes. But if you were first, what, so, okay, besides the rod, what other tools can you use to douse? So you can use a pendulum. Okay. So I personally don't prefer a pendulum. Right. So here's my pendulum. Yeah. Um, I was beautiful. Yeah. I was um, taught pendulum work years. Well, obviously my mom was using like a straight, like a needle Yeah, because it doesn't have to be fancy, right? It can be no, really anything that hangs, right? Anything that hangs. So these are, to me, these are, for me, smaller yeah. symbols. I like, you know, I like big messages. So right. <laughs> I prefer the rod. But people, you know, my grandpa used to use a willow stick. Mm-hmm. I've had clients who work in construction who have used whatever they had at hand to find where the underground cables were when they were digging. Right. So it's just a matter of a tool that will respond okay. to to the frequency and the vibration. And when you say, okay, so tool that will respond. So, um, and one thing you brought up, which I think is important, um, again, for somebody that's just starting out, when you're asking, okay, so what is dowsing? What does that mean? You're, again, you were saying it's divining, and then you're asking for clear answers or about yes. things to shed light on things. And also, you brought up a really important point, which is you have to, it's, you're connecting with your higher self or highest good or, you know, what, yeah. some people might be going, well, what is, what's turning it? Like, what's spinning it? Like, what, yeah. who's telling you this thing, right? So that's yeah. what, you know, so, and that honestly, like, when I, when I started, te- like, learning it myself, I, you know, when it was early days, I was like, ah, what does that even mean? But um, I think it's this idea of connecting with your higher self and this, subconscious level uh to get the answers if, i don't know but maybe that's how i think of it yeah to me it's absolutely it's like i always go to almighty oh god of my being creator of heaven and earth and then my hand is always at my heart center because that's where i kind of anchor that heaven vibration yeah. right so that i'm coming and i always ask again that the messages are clear and concise and i feel strongly that the re- the rod is responding to the electric magnetics in your body and the nerve impulses so it's kind of like morse code from your source energy that's Mm -hmm. creating the movement right and that's why i will always ask may i have confirmation that that is correct is there anything further and when i ask if there's anything further that's usually when i get an intuitive hit of what else to look for so my protocol has grown based on asking what what is it is there anything further and what is it that i need to know and let the message be clear and concise so that i know so my on-site clearings have changed and my personal clearings have changed when i'm working with people okay so why don't you if you don't mind why don't you do us a quick demo okay so here's a quick demo i'm going to tune into a property that i'm going to do a distant clearing on today and i'm just going to do my protocol um so i'm first off i'm going to ask with for permission I have permission. Yes. Okay. Um, please show me non-beneficial geopathic stress lines that are for the property that I will be working on this afternoon. Okay. So I have four. Okay. Okay. So may I have confirmation I have four. Is there anything further that I need to know? May I move forward? So it's moving yeah. the other way there. Okay. Yeah. So it moved the other way and then it moved that way. Okay, yes. Okay. Yes is my left, which is probably your right because it's reversed. Then no is my, my, uh, no. Yes is my left, no is my right, and and confirmation of my forward, right? Okay. Is my left. So then I ask then, what is, um, please show me non beneficial interference lines there are for this property. So I have count for two. Okay. So then if I was on site, I would start at the start geopathic stress lines I deal with outside during the spring, summer, and fall. Right. In the winter, because we usually have snow banks up to the fence yes. lines, I deal with them in the basement, much like okay. I would do if I was in a condo. Right. If I'm doing a distant consultation, I sit in my other office space, which is my studio space, because distant consultations usually take me two hours. Right. And I will sit, and I will, so first I gather all my data, with getting my number count, and then I go into each one of those things independently, and we'll sit and say a mantra because I'm dealing with energy because this is all invisible energy right. 
that is causing a disruption in someone's energy field. So then I will sit with a focused intention and ask to neutralize, clear, balance, and transform while bringing healing to the non-beneficial energy. And I will name it, whether it's right. non-beneficial geopathic stress or interference right. lines or Hartman or Curry or whatever. So then I will sit and my rod will spin until it it's stops. Cleared. And right. that might take 10, 15, 20 minutes, right. depending on how intense things are. So I asked, is there a game? Is there anything more that I need to know about this situation? And the message was, you're addressing energy to energy. If you can deal with them distantly, then on site, you're just running your hand along asking, and we will, you know, energetically do it. Clear. Yeah. So Rod will spin again till it's neutralized, clear, balanced, and transformed. Um, and then I'll ask if there's anything further, yes, no, and then we just, I ask if we can move forward to the next one. Okay. Now, often with these lines, because you're looking for the pulse, you can often feel it, you know, a couple of feet before you actually step in it. And a lot of times I'll have the client step into the line before I transform it to see if they feel anything in their body or any kind of sensations or emotions that it brings up. Right. Some people really do and some yeah. people don't. And it's not a matter of what's right or wrong, it's just a matter of what's what their makeup is, right? right. Like what they feel. Yeah. So that's that's you know, that's basically how I how you would do it. How you walk yeah. through it. Okay. Yeah. No, that's good. Okay, well thank you. That's good. So thank you. thanks so much. That was very informative. Thanks. And uh, I appreciate you revealing how you work. That's great. Um, and just for everyone else that's watching, um, I'm going to have details about Bridget's new video series in the show notes. I'll put those in the show notes in the description below. I'm also going to do a blog post uh, along with this that you can link to and you can click below, which will have more information and a little bit about more about what Bridget and I discussed. And for our next question is going to be and this one I've been throwing around with and then we're going to unpack it it sounds like it could be you know interesting is what is the best color for a bedroom so we're going to ask that and I will have a special guest to help me with that as well thank you everybody for watching and I will see you next episode thanks <laughs>